shotgun or lavalier mic. If you only have budget for one, which one should you get? Or if you do have budget for both of them, which one should you use when? Now, if I'm working outdoors, my typical preference is going to be with the lavalier microphone because I can hide it under the shirt of my talent. That takes care of most of the wind issues. And it also gives me some flexibility. Now, of course, with a shotgun, you can also go with the wind cover. In this case, I got the Rode NTG2 with the default foam cover that it comes with, but I also bought the Dead Cat cover, and that just fits over this. Um, there we go, it's just something like that. Now, one would think that would be a pretty effective solution. It costs about $30, I think, for the, the Dead Cat. It works okay in anything, well, it works if there's a very slight breeze. It does not work if there's anything more than a slight breeze. To really address that kind of issue with a shotgun mic, I think you really have to go with the, unless I'm doing something wrong, with the blimp covers, which put a whole frame around the, uh, lava, or sorry, the shotgun mic, and then you have one of these furry covers that go over that, so it's much larger and it does a better job at cutting the noise. So typically, again, I find the lavalier microphone, if I can put it under the shirt of my actor or talent, that that's typically gonna work best for me outdoors if there's any sort of wind. If your talent's gonna be moving around, I think ideally it'd be great to have a shotgun mic with a boom operator following your talent. If that's not an option for you in terms of the, you know, you don't have a crew to do it or um, whatever the case may be, a lav may be a good choice if your actor's gonna be moving around. Only thing you wanna be careful of, of course, is to make sure that the lav doesn't rub against the clothing and create noise that way. Another scenario, if you've got multiple actors, uh, you're either going to need a couple of lavalier microphones, unless your talent are gonna be standing very close to each other. For example, in a wedding, a bride and groom, you might be able to get away with one lav. Otherwise, you probably need separate lavs for each of the actors or talent, or again, ideally a shotgun mic with a boom operator getting the mic to the person that's doing the dialogue at that point is ideal as well. If you're gonna shoot wide, lavalier may be a better choice because it's much easier to hide in a wide shot than a shotgun would be. Now, when I'm indoors, I typically like to shoot with a shotgun microphone for two main reasons. Number one, if the room is echoey or noisy in any way, it seems easier to me to eliminate that noise or control the echo with a shotgun mic. And that's by flying the mic above your talent and bringing it in within 18 to 24 inches. And that seems to work a lot better than an omnidirectional lavalier microphone, which will tend to pick up a little bit more of that echo. And then the second reason is that a uh, shotgun is not usually as prone to movement from your talent. So if you've got talent that um, maybe, <laughs> maybe talent's not the right word, but if they move around a little bit more, they're not used to working with microphones, it's a little easier to manage that with a shotgun microphone versus a lavalier. Lavalier could start rubbing on their clothes or, or any of those types of things. So. Those are the two main reasons why I like to shoot a shotgun when I'm shooting indoors. Now, these are really just my opinions based on my limited experience so far. I'm still very much in the process of learning. And if you have learned some things that are maybe contrary or, or maybe a little bit more uh, in depth than what we've shared here about using microphones and when it's best to use a shotgun versus a lavalier, let us know in the comments or even better, leave a video response. Thanks again for checking out the show. If you'd like to get more videos with tips on improving your lighting or your sound for video, go ahead and subscribe and we'll talk to you again soon.